Hey you guys, so I am back with an updated video on how I naturally reduce my breast size. Um, I know a lot of y'all were a bit mad at me because <laughs> I wasn't as detailed and I didn't know. I thought I was sharing enough, but apparently I wasn't. It was too generalized. And I'm not a doctor, I'm not a healthcare physician. I just wanted to share my story with you guys. So. I will link that video down if, uh, if you're watching this and you have not seen the first one. I'm going to do this video based off of my experience alone. What I do in, in order to shrink my breast. I sometimes may lose weight, but I may not lose it in my breast size. So I have on a dress and there is no bra. And my boobs are, they're, they're at a pretty good size. They're not as small as they were in the video that I have linked down before. They've been Okay, here is some before and after footage of my boobs and they fluctuate guys depending on my activity level and how clean I eat. So here's some footage of me now, some footage of me last year 2018 and some before footage in the beginning of my vegan journey and right before I started getting serious about bodybuilding. Four hacks. These are the four things that I do to reduce my breast size or the four things that I have done or noticed that reduce my breast size. Okay, first tip or first hack, whatever. Eating clean 90% of the time. Okay, when I say eating clean, I mean like the plainer the better. I eat a whole plant-based foods diet and whenever I notice a huge drop in my, my breast size is when I'm eating things like I'm just going to name them out. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, green beans, spinach, dry oats, sweet potatoes, rice, quinoa. Just things that you that are not processed. Tofu. Tofu is sort of processed, but I get the non-GMO, fully organic, super, super firm. It's like the texture of meat. Tofu. I know some people are on the fence about that, but not all tofu is bad. Yes, it is highly genetically modified, but so are a lot of things out there. I've read a mixed articles. I don't know what to believe or who to believe, but so far I have not experienced any, not that I know of to my knowledge, any kind of side effects from soy. And I'm, I balance that out, I moderate it. I don't eat it every single meal and I don't eat it every single day. Whole plant-based foods, full meals, but you, ha you can't overdo it, like overeating. If you're gonna put your body in a surplus, a caloric or energy surplus, that means you're eating over your, your current needs. What that means is you're gonna store that as fat and it's, it's gonna be stored in your body as glycogen. You gotta burn it off in order to, to create a deficit. You wanna limit the amount of processed and refined sugars in your diet. There are times where I will create a energy deficit where I'll still be hitting the gym, and I won't eat as much, but I'll be eating junk food and my boobs will still be big. And uh, it's all due to like processed foods with the chemicals and all that stuff. It may cause a hormonal response. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know, but I noticed that when I eat a lot of refined foods, like breads, pasta, that's refined. My boobs get bigger, tortillas, okay? Um, refined sugars, I love Twizzlers, I love cake, cookies, brownies. I love all this stuff. I love sugar, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I do like sugar, but you have to find a balance. You have to find a balance with that. I noticed a huge increase in my breast size. Also, I noticed that when I did drop a lot of weight, and I'll insert pictures here, I was doing a low carb diet. My protein and my carbohydrates were moderate. So I'd say they were about, I'd say 40, 40, 20% fat my fats were really low. Some days I did carb cycle. Do not get me wrong, there were days that I did bring my carbohydrates up, depending on uh, if I needed to refeed or if I was doing a two day or leg day. It just really depends, it varies per day. It's really hard to say, but I do carb cycle. And the cleaner you eat, the better. You have to stay consistent. That's another thing, in order to see results. So, and it's like, as soon as I hop off that and I start eating the processed foods, it just, my boobs start to swell up. They start to fill out again. And I start to gain fat. Yes, you can, once you lose body fat percentage, you're gonna lose breast fat. But sometimes that's not always, I don't know, for some people they were saying that's not all, that's not the case for them. I don't really know the answer to that, but I just, I'm just gonna tell you guys how I reduce my breast. So you can take these tips and, or not. It's just, I'm sharing my story with you guys because you asked me to. Next tip or hack, creating an energy deficit. 
You can create a deficit through either diet or exercise. So if you're going to create a deficit through diet, you don't want to cut your calories too low to where you're going to be malnourished. You're not getting the proper nutrition. There were days that I do two days. One of the major things that helped me lose breast fat is getting up and doing fasted cardio 30 minutes in the morning. Three to four hours of cardio per week. Stairmaster running um sometimes i would get on like this i think it's called a high arc machine but mostly stair stairmaster at least two two days out of the week and then i would get on treadmills like my faves and then the high arc machine just to switch it up and even jump roping or doing a hit cardio high intensity interval training to help burn the fat that was like major like i noticed it like instantly three to four hours of cardio per week if you're not doing like a high intensity workout it still needs to be challenging if you're doing like low intensity, I only do that after I weight train. Cardio helps with conditioning. Okay, so whenever I was at my leanest, I was doing two days, I think like three or four days out of the week, minimum three days. So I would get up faithfully every morning and do 30 minutes of cardio, fasted. And I also trained fasted at least six hours in between my meals at that time. And I, I love to fast now. Like I, my body responds very well. That's like a, the best way to burn fat. I feel like it's just having an empty system and then I don't know it's just I don't know I like it I like it so first thing in the morning fasted cardio or weight training in the weight train in the morning and then do cardio at night before you go to sleep also doing chest exercises bench press dumbbell uh, chest press pec flies push-ups I was doing I do I still do to this day I still do those to build muscle here in your chest to make them to lift them training upper body period I wouldn't say I trained chest twice out of the week but I did train it faithfully I mean I would do just different variations of push-ups chest press like de declined decline chest press or incline chest press or just the regular really go so hard on the on the barbell i like doing dumbbells better because it gives you more free motion more more range of motion i mean i would make sure i kept my ribs around 15 to 20 because i wanted to kind of keep it like a slight aerobic sometimes i would do 30 reps too i wasn't trying to build a huge muscle there so i didn't go super hard to where i'm only doing 8 to 10 reps Still has to be challenging. And I would make sure I would do 20 minutes of cardio after I trained. Just to make it clear, whenever you are creating an energy deficit, that means you are burning more calories than you are taking in. You're gonna burn those through exercise. You have to exercise. If you're not exercising, then you do need to make sure that you're not eating in a surplus. And if you really wanna see results and you wanna keep the results, you're gonna have to stick with this. It has to become a lifestyle. Like if there's something that you really, really wanna do naturally versus having a surgery. Cause that was one of the things that I just absolutely did not wanna do was to have surgery. Large breasts were in my family and I just, I did not want that. I don't know. Couldn't be up. I don't know. I didn't want that. And I'm happy. Like, I never thought that my boobs would actually get this small. So, I'm not wearing a bra. No bra with this. And I'm happy. I'm happy with my boobs. They're my boobs. One boob is bigger than the other. And they do sag a little. But they're, they are perky enough for me to wear um, braless dresses and tops. Now, I can't wear everything. Not like somebody who has breasts and plants. But... I'm happy with what I have. Caffeine. I know, I know, I know, I know. Being honest about my story, my experience, I do take caffeine. Every day, no, but I do take it. You don't have to even take caffeine if you don't want to. Just make sure you eat clean and you just go hard in the gym. There are natural sources of caffeine. I mean, you have green tea, black coconut tea that I take, but it has 140 milligrams of caffeine in it. <laughs> That's a lot. Coffee, I think, has 100 milligrams per cup, I think. But, I mean, there's coffee is natural as well. So if you want to take in the tea, it just depends on how much caffeine you want to take in or if you don't want to take it. I know some people are on the fence about that. I do take pre-workout. Yeah, sometimes you need the extra boost. Don't do it every day. I don't do it every day because it causes me to have anxiety. You don't want you don't want that. Do the more natural ones, like the ones, the, the caffeinated teas. You don't have to do pre-workout. So... But yes, I do take caffeine and on a high day, it's about 250 milligrams of caffeine. Just being honest. And some days it's lower than that. It's not, I don't always take pre-workout or always do caffeine. 
like I said, but it does help burn fat. It does help move water and regulate your bowel movements too. It'll make you poop. Last but certainly not least is your thoughts. Stress. Um, if you're stressing about anything that's happening in your life, um, it's gonna bring your cortisol levels up. This is hormones. Okay, we're talking about hormones. You wanna keep a low stress mentality, a positive, very positive mindset that, oh, I got this, I can do this. Have self, self affirmations, visualize yourself. How do you wanna see yourself? See yourself like I already have the body I want. I already have small breasts. I have perky boobs. I stay in the gym, I, I am fit. You know, you wanna like, whatever it is that your goal is, you need to state that into existence and believe in it and have faith and you need to back it up with action. There are gonna be roadblocks. There are gonna be days you don't wanna to go to the gym, but it really de depends on how bad you want it. If you're stressing out, it's gonna bring your cortisol levels up and it'll make you retain water and it'll feel squishy like fat. It's just having control over your mind and know that everything is gonna be okay or that this will come to pass. Staying positive, I do go to yoga, I do meditate. I, med I don't meditate every day, but I do like at least two times out of the week for about five minutes. I don't go, like I'm working on the meditation thing. Like I know there are a lot of great benefits to that. You wanna make sure you get good sleep too. In order to get results, you gotta have good sleep. So sleep well because that'll help with your stress levels. If you don't sleep well, it keeps your cortisol levels up. You want to be able to control cortisol. I'm still learning, guys. I'm learning about the whole hormone thing. That's one of my biggest things. It's just getting like water balance and hormone control down. Like I'm learning it myself. But those are the things that helped me. I hope this video helped you. Leave any questions or comments you have down below. Like I said, this is my honest, as detailed as I can get. I do have videos on my channel on some of the meals that I do eat. Two vegan meal prep videos. I also have a couple of what I eat in the day videos on here. Showing you and giving you an idea of what I do eat. And I've shared some of my workouts on here too. Let me know down in the comments if you have any more questions. And I hope this video was a help to you guys. And I love you and see you next video.